Hi, welcome to the channel NCRT Maths Tutor. In this video, we are going to learn derivatives of implicit function. In differentiation, we can have two types of function, explicit function and implicit function. In the earlier video, we have solved some of the problems which comes under explicit function. First, here let us see what is explicit function and what is an implicit function. Explicit function means in the case of explicit function, we have the independent variable and dependent variable. Here, the function is given in terms of the independent variable. That means, for example, see here we have y is equal to x square plus 2. On the left hand side we have the variable y and on the right hand side we have the variable x. Now this y depends on x. As the x value changes, the y value also changes. So this is dependent variable and this is independent variable. So you can observe here the variable y is on the left hand side. Similarly, the variable x is on the right hand side. So here one variable is completely isolated. So such kind of function we can say explicit function and the derivative of such function we can easily find. Suppose if I tell you to differentiate this function with respect to x then you can differentiate dy by dx is equal to x square differentiation or derivative is 2x and this is 0. And then here I have taken another example. See here we have x minus y minus pi is equal to 0. So you can see here we have two variable x and y. In this case the variable dependent and independent variables are not written on one side. But here we can make the changes such that see x minus pi is equal to minus y if I take to this side then we get again here y is equal to x minus pi. Now in this equation you can observe the y is on the left hand side similarly the x variable is on the right hand side. So this is the dependent variable. This is the dependent variable and this is the independent variable. As the x value changes, the y value also changes. So you can see here, the we can express here y in terms of x or even we can express this x in terms of y. You can even write this as x is equal to y plus pi. That is also correct. So one variable can be expressed in terms of another variable such kind of functions we call as explicit function. Here you can differentiate this easily. If I differentiate this function with respect to x we get dy by dx is equal to x derivatives 1 and this is a constant so here we get 0. So these kind of functions are known as explicit function where we have dependent and independent variable and here we can express one variable in terms of another variable. For example, we can express y in terms of x. Similarly, we can express x in terms of y that is also possible. Here also see y is equal to x minus pi we have here y is expressed in terms of x. Similarly, x we can express in terms of y. If you write x is equal to y plus pi, then this is dependent variable and this is independent variable. Or if you write y is equal to x minus pi, then this is dependent variable and this is independent variable. So these kind of functions are known as explicit function and we can easily find the derivative for explicit function. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about implicit function. Let us see what are implicit function. See in the case of implicit function, it is not possible to express any variable, one variable in terms of another variable. Where here both independent and dependent variables are given and here the function is given in terms of both dependent and independent variable. See like in this case we had x minus y minus pi is equal to 0. But here if you make some changes, if you take one variable to right hand side or if you keep one variable to left hand side, then we can make this as y is equal to x minus pi. Where here y is expressed in terms of x or you can make x is equal to y plus pi 
where x is written in terms of y. These kind of changes you can do, whereas in the case of implicit function, such changes we can't do. So, let us see here. Here, in the case of implicit function, it is not possible to express one variable in terms of another or you can't express y in terms of x or x in terms of y. That is not possible. See, here we have x plus sin xy minus y is equal to 0. Now, in this case here, in this function, can we express this in terms of explicit function? That is not possible. See, here you can keep this x on this side. If you Even if you take this y on right hand side, here we have sin xy. This xy is an angle, so it is not possible to separate x and y here. You can't write x and y separately. These two things come together. So, here you can't express this in terms of one variable, in terms of dependent and independent variable, that is not possible. The function itself has dependent as well as independent variable. The function is written in terms of dependent and independent variable. Similarly, here we have y plus sin y is equal to cos x. Now, here also see y plus sin y is equal to cos x. Here, can we write this function in terms of uh, Explicit function, see here we have y plus sin y, y is equal to cos x minus sin y. If you take this to right hand side, then here we have cos x minus sin y. Whereas on the left hand side, we have y plus sin y. So even if you take on the right hand side, then here we have x as well as y variable. On the left hand side also, you can see here we have y as well as sin y. So such kind of differentiation or such kind of functions we call as implicit function where in one function we have the function is written in terms of both dependent variable as well as independent variable. We can't isolate one variable or we can't keep one variable on the left hand side and then all the other variable terms on the right hand side that is not possible. Like here y is equal to cos x minus sin y if you do then here on the right hand side we have x as well as y. So that is not possible. Keeping y on the left hand side is not possible in the case of implicit function. If you have such function then how you perform the differentiation or how you find the derivative of that. See now here I have taken y plus sin y is equal to cos x. Now let us see how to differentiate this function. See first here we are differentiating uh, sorry we are differentiating the function with respect to x. So here we have y. So as we have here y so first here we need to differentiate this so d by dx of y. Generally, if you have x and if you differentiate with respect to x, then that x derivative is 1. But here, you can't write that y derivative as 1 as we are differentiating with respect to x. So, that's why it is not possible to write like that. So, d by dx of y plus d by dx of sin y is equal to d by dx of cos x. See, now d by dx of y is nothing but you have to write as it is as this is not x and we are differentiating with respect to x. So, that's why you have to write as it is plus derivative of sin y is cos y. Then see here you have to apply the chain rule. Again here we have y. So, you need to find the derivative of this y. So, d by dx of y is equal to cos x derivative is minus sin x. Then here you can see here we have derivative of d by uh, y is d by dx of y is same only. So, here you can take this and this term outside. So, we have 1 plus cos y is equal to minus sin x. Then if I take this to this side, then we have dy by dx is equal to minus sin x by 1 plus cos y. So, this is the derivative of this function. Like this way, you can perform the derivative of these kind of function by taking dy by dx outside and then keeping that on the left hand side and the remaining terms on the right hand side. So, this is about the implicit and explicit function and by this way, you can find the derivative of implicit function. See here, in the case of explicit function, we can express one variable in terms of another variable, whereas in the case of explicit implicit function, we can't express one variable in terms of another variable. Here the function is given in terms of both dependent and independent variable. So you can't keep one variable on the left hand side and all other variable on the right hand side. Such kind of things are not possible in the case of implicit function. So this is about derivative of implicit function. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also click the bell icon to get regular notification. Thanks for watching.